So hi guys, I'm back. This is Kai and as promised I told you guys I would come back later today um, just to go over um, some questions that I had uh, received in my inbox and try to elaborate as much as I can. Um, so I'm going to try to do that for you guys at this time and you know I am still in the car. You know I'm in the car. But um, one of the people that reached out to me had suggested that I um, not drive when I am doing this um, I <laughs> it was kind of cute because I took the I took it as this person is like you're not doing something safe I'm pretty sure the person didn't mean it that way the person primarily was saying that I wasn't looking into the camera and focusing and things like that um, but I a perfect example of using something and turning it into a positive. I just, you know, took it as this person really was saying that I wasn't in a safe position to be driving and doing these videos, which is absolutely correct. Because to be honest with you, at the time that it happened when I did it, I did think about it like, you probably shouldn't be driving when you're doing the videos. But I have, obviously, I have equipment in here that allows me to be able to drive safely, um, hands-free, and still be able to communicate with you guys. Um, but as far is looking into the camera um, directly um, working on doing a better job of that thank you so much for that that tip um, so that's what I'll be doing but one of the things and I, I don't I normally like I tell you guys you, I don't know who, how you take it but I have a really very 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 busy schedule so a lot of times I don't have time to do this um, after work um, so I do it when I can um, because people have expressed their appreciation they've come to me and they've told me well they've sent me messages and saying how much they enjoy it and things of that nature so i'm going to continue to do it until i feel um well until god tells me not to but uh, for the time being we're going to continue to continue to do it i'm going to touch on topics and i'm going to also respond to questions that i've gotten from people that watch the show um a lot of people have said that you know you don't owe anybody explanation whatsoever you're not even part of the cast which is absolutely correct i am not part of the cast um i was a person that was appearing in the show um and we, we know the story the backlog on that um however um people really did want to know they wanted to have some questions answered and i don't think that anything well i don't think very much was uh cleared up on the show uh, we only got bits and pieces so this this is the whole primary goal of this and also to um you know reach some people you never know where you may meet somebody that you can help they can help you you never know what what can come out of things like this so it's just but always to me it's beneficial to um greet people or be, be interactive with people i guess you would call it network with people because you never know you know how that can open up doors for you or how you would you could be able to help someone so one of the things that i did want to talk to you guys about was and then i'm gonna get to the questions i promise i'm getting to questions one of the things i want to talk to you about um because i try to I tried to leave you with something and um, I've asked you to do different challenges and things like that. So I had, uh, today I thought about asking this Tuesday. Um, so we were thinking about possibly finding ways that we can help somebody out, do something nice for somebody or something, you know, or along those lines. So I started my day out. I really was going to bring you guys on um but it was so dark this morning you couldn't even see you know you wouldn't have been, been able to see me so uh, i wasn't able to do it but little things small things does it doesn't take much um so i did get a chance to pay it for um i go get coffee in the morning and i was able to pay it for it in the line and pay for the vehicle behind me pay for their um breakfast whatever it was um so that's just one thing and the thing about it no that is absolutely not significant at all it's very minute and small but you never know how much one small gesture um that you are able to do can brighten somebody's day you know it was nothing it didn't it didn't hurt me it didn't harm me it didn't cost me very much at all um but that could have made that person's day and then not only that that person may have even felt compelled to do it for the next vehicle behind them so it's small things that we can do to um just 
not just think about ourselves all the time you know do something for somebody else for a change so i challenge you guys to think of something we're getting close to thanksgiving time think of something i know a lot of you are blessed and um just think of something that you can do for somebody else i mean buy a turkey um donate your time if you don't have the money or you don't always have to have money to be able to help someone go volunteer um at like a kitchen or something or you know anything um it also brought me back it made me think about an instant Instance because we were talking yesterday I think it was yesterday one day this week one of these videos we were talking about um, the fact that people prejudge and prejudging it has a huge effect on other people so it brought me to the um, the well the at one time I wanted to well i did i put it uh, together a uh, organization where we uh collected generally used dresses and we we're going to donate it to young women in the community that maybe could not afford um, a prom dress and really want to go to prom or just to take that burden off that parent that would love to do it but just did not have the finances to do it um so uh, i did reach out to some of the high schools in the area and to my surprise i couldn't believe it i was just so I was just outdone but to my surprise um the principal's director and things like that they basically told me they were like you know what you're trying to do is amazing but these women and these kids they are so embarrassed to even say that they need that help because they're afraid of being judged that they won't even admit that they need help to get a dress or take the dress or that someone knows that they have on a dress that they did not purchase and it just brought me to think about how people's judgment has that much effect on other people just like i was saying you could be prejudged people um and as we know and i was going to get into that too is we, we i get things sent to me so some of the reviews that get sent to me um some of them i look at some of them i you know i don't you know and i, I one thing i did vow is i'm not gonna put emphasis or entertain any negativity because that's not who i am and I don't want to engage in that type of stuff so that's not what i'm going to do but i'm going to say this um some of the reviews that i did watch um it was basically judging 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 ju judging me not just me they were judging a lot of people um so much to the point where you were judging based on what you thought you knew um so you were so distraught by a stranger's life that it pulled you to the point to call people b-i-t-c-h's and things like that like seriously like this is this this is this serious to you that that person has to be called off their name like really so didn't understand it still don't understand it will never understand it but it just goes back to that judgment thing um and again, judging based on something that you have no idea what you're talking about. Um, you, if it were me, I'll just say this. If it were me and I, were, and I was choosing to do reviews on different shows or whatever, I would have my facts in line so that I make sense. So that what I'm saying actually adds up. Um, that's what I would do. And I mean, why not? Why would, I would never go... We wouldn't go well news source i can't use news source because sometimes their information isn't completely accurate either but i'm just saying if it were me and um i was doing reviews on shows which i didn't even know people did that till this incident but okay because i don't watch tv so i don't know what goes on but um i would have my facts in order especially when i'm doing this per show i'm going on here every show and i'm chiming in on you know direct the issues and i'm making us i'm making assumptions and i'm directing to, directly to the people involved yeah i'm gonna make sure i have a little more substance i'm gonna make sure my facts line up all right moving on that's no negativity so we're gonna move on and one of the things that i did get the question was how did you how did you explain to your son that his dad had a girlfriend and to be honest with you like i you know said when um my ex and i we split up my son was very young my, my son was young so he never questioned me about anything he didn't ask me about any of that um so i didn't really have to explain that um it just came up of like 
last year as a matter of fact it just came up where my son um his dad asked him what did he want for christmas and what he told him was that he wanted a horse and he wanted his dad to propose to the to his girlfriend so um when my son went down there for christmas lo and behold because he's getting older he's starting to understand he's you know he's it's starting to click so when he went down um lo and behold his dad did propose and you know that was that so he never really questioned me about um speaking of my son because i hope listen, i hope you guys i'm pretty sure you guys are smart enough to know intelligent to know that they're both maurice it's maurice senior and it's maurice jr i hope you know that because i've heard some comments too we'll get to that about me saying something about maurice and it was pertaining to my son i wasn't pertaining to my son but we'll get there um so anyway he's never questioned me about um his dad having a girlfriend or anything like that so i've never really had to get into detail or explain anything to him about that um because he's never questioned me about that um even the girls they they're older they've never questioned me about any of that so i never really had to explain that to him um so it was not it wasn't an issue the next I already touched on the reviews, calling out the name. Oh, the lack of info. Um, so I, I was kind of reluctant to even go into this because um, like I told you guys earlier, earlier recordings, I, I want to leave some things to the show. Um, I'm going to leave that one there. I'm going to leave that there. But before you say that this person is so bitter and she's using her son to get to this man and she's using him to make him do this and do that, have the facts. Have the facts because that is so far off. It doesn't make sense. Oh, the other thing I wanted to kind of, um, kind of touch on was um, I made a comment that I was not making anything difficult for Maurice. Um, Maurice will tell you, I've never made anything difficult for him. He's always been able to get his son. As a matter of fact, I know for a fact that I've done more to make sure that he was able to see his son than most women would have done. Um, and I'm supposed to. He, he, me and him have this discussion. You're absolutely correct. I'm supposed to because that's my son. And I want my son to have the best of whatever it is that we can offer him. I didn't like it when he left. I felt horrible when he left. Missed him like crazy. However, my son deserves to have a relationship with his dad as well. So I was the one driving all, all over the world over to Chicago to meet him halfway or to come to Kentucky, excuse me, moving too fast. Kentucky to meet him halfway so that he could spend time with his son. Then at some point, he decided he wanted to put my child on a plane because um, I wasn't ready for that yet. You know how mamas can be. Um, but he did. He got on a plane. He flew um, back and forth. I was the one that had to readjust my schedule to make sure not only did he get to the airport, but he got picked up on time, regardless of what my schedule was, because it was prior years it wasn't consulted with me first about what times I could do pickups and drop offs so I had to rearrange re rearrange my life to make sure that that got done later on he would co communicate with me and make sure the schedule was working and things like that um and so it it did work out for us um but these are things that um you should know before you call people bitter and say that they're using their child um against this man because it's absolutely not the case said it once i'll say it again absolutely not the case never have been i wouldn't even do that like that doesn't that's not even something i would do like why would i oh because i'm better i guess a better person would try to use their child in that way and keep their child away from them that's not me though huh but thank anyway um the other thing is um oh i was asked why didn't i speak when i walked into the restaurant um so i had to personally because at the moment when i watched the show i don't know i guess i was distracted my phone was i don't know what was going on so i didn't really catch every detail so i had to go back and watch the show and say that doesn't sound you know like me um so i went but again we know editing so i had to go back and watch it just to make sure it wasn't taken out and when i did go back and watch it lo and behold um 
I did speak. I was the, the first person to speak as soon as I walked in because I'm not a rude person. And that was the this part two of the question. Are you, um, it was, or are you always rude to people that are trying to take care of your child or help take care of your child or that's around your child or something to that extent? And I'm not rude to anyone. I don't have to know you to speak. If I'm passing by somebody on the street, I'm going to speak because what is that going to hurt me? That's my character. I'm going to speak. I speak. So um, I went back. I looked. I did speak. Um, if you want to know, I wish I knew the minute and second, but I don't know that. But if you want to know where it was that I spoke when I walked into the uh, the cafe, I pulled my chair out and I said, good morning, which was very low. You really didn't hear the good morning, but I said, good morning. Hey guys, how are you? Exactly what I said. Now what happened after that? I have no control over editing. I, I which I, hey, I wish this was my show, but I don't have control over that. Um, another thing was be uh, about my name, my last name. I'm not about to keep discussing that. We've already talked about that. Uh, it's for my son, and that was basically the reason. So. Um, going back to what we were talking about as far as giving back and doing something genuine and nice for somebody else, uh, I think I, a couple times I left you guys with a quote. I'm going to leave you with a quote today. And the quote says, give yourself entirely to those around you. Be generous with your blessings. A kind gesture can reach a wound that only compassion can heal. And when I saw this quote, I was like, oh, that's right on time with what I wanted to talk to the people about today. Um, so it just lined up. So I thought I would share that with you guys. Um, but as always, any questions, any comments, you could go ahead and um, leave it below. If you feel compelled, go ahead and subscribe. We appreciate you. And don't forget to check out my blog page where you can also submit questions that if you would like to. Um, it is www.readjustyourcrownqueen.com. Um, other than that, I will be keeping in touch with you guys as much as I possibly can. I'm prolonging this because I am really trying to make sure I didn't forget anything that I wanted to talk about. Oh, yes, the book. So I did mess up the name of the book that I was reading and um, I was corrected about that and I appreciate that. Thank you because I noticed that I made that um, mistake and I corrected it but it, might, it may not have been clear. So the book is called Blend. It's by Mashonda T. Frey. I actually have it right here if you would like to see it. And this is the book. It is amazing. Um, and this book is what I was telling you guys that um, we, uh, well, I'm reading um, in an effort to try to just get past this hump. I did mail a copy to um, the, the current wife and uh, with a, a message saying, you know, just, you know, anytime you want to contact me or you want to discuss anything, we can do that. Um, let's go ahead and try to move forward from here because at this point this isn't beneficial to any of us any of us so like i said if something were to happen to any one of us today we would really feel horrible about the way that the relationship is because at the end of the day you got to care about other people you have to have some type of compassion for other people i know i do and i would feel horrible if something were to happen to any one of us um the way the things are right now you know because it's just it's, it's not it's not cool at all um I did go back um, and go through my uh, Facebook messages and I did find my message. To be honest with you guys, I told you uh, at that time, I said it, I didn't recall sending this message. I didn't. Um, however, the funny thing about Facebook is things stay there. So they, you go back, you can find it. So I went back because I'm like, I need to know because I just couldn't see me just addressing this person saying they are this, they are that, they are that. Um, so I went back, found the message. The message did read, um, I didn't want you around my son. Um, stay away from my son. Anything you have to say to me, say to my face. Do not say it through Maurice. And with that being said, um, it wasn't talking about my son Maurice. It was talking about big Maurice. I was saying, you don't need to say anything 
through big Maurice. My son, you got to keep in mind, my son was only four or five years old. So I wouldn't even involve my son <laughs> in this conversation at all. So that was another misconception that was um, had. And I really, you know what? I really, I'm, I'm being reluctant, but I'm going to go ahead and say this. So back to the topic of me using my son as a weapon. Um, so this is what I want to say, because this has been going on since the beginning. But um, there is steadily, steadily, steadily saying that I'm using him, um, keeping him away from his dad. He's almost he's a teenager now and he can make his own decision and he can say if he wants to be there or not. Um, but not knowing the facts so the fact is my son is not a teenager my son is 12 years old he um turned 12 last year so he's he's only 12 years old well this year earlier this year he's only 12 years old so he's not a teenager at all my son not only is a 12 year old he acts like a 12 year old he's not one of those kids that's in grown folks business and and that's another thing that i'm really 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 hoping that because the thing is my son will never watch that show even though he's in it but he can't watch it because of some of the things that are being done and said in the show um which i was not aware of when i uh, signed for him to be in it i thought it was something that he would be able to watch as well um but after it came out i, I quickly found out that was not the case um but kids some kids some, some people have said to me that they let their child watch this show so it's not like this information can't get back to him you know so you know i'm just saying we need to really be cautious we need to really be cautious and protect that baby my baby and you know think about what we're doing and what are you doing it for like what is your purpose in all that you know if it's just to throw dirt on somebody or drag somebody through the mud like what does that benefit you i don't know but i'm being cautious i'm being careful i'm not gonna say anything that um that is you know out of the way i'm just giving you guys the facts um but i'm not gonna say anything out of the way because the truth is um i'm not angry and i'm not upset and i don't really have anything bad to say um i'm just giving you the facts but with that being said um, I'm holding my son and using my son as a weapon. However, my son has been living with his dad for the past six months. So that's why I say you, you're saying things and you're constantly saying things. Not only that, there's been several things that said and you really don't even no so you know i just want you to and i'm not saying it in a rude or sassy like you know i'm not saying it in that way i'm just saying it like you might you know want to back up on some of the prejudgment that you're doing on people when you really don't know <laughs> you know you really don't know so with that being said i'm gonna end this one today guys as always i'm open to hear what you have to say i'm open to hear if you have any questions if you have any comments don't forget to find somewhere to do something for somebody else to donate to volunteer grab some of them old purses you don't you know you don't want no more you're not gonna use those purses stuff some toiletries in it um and give it to a, a shelter for women or something and that is so small and that's something that you probably like okay but that i'm telling you things like that i've done it things like that brighten somebody's day and they actually feel like somebody actually cares and they're actually grateful for it so just try it out let me know how it goes and as always readjust your crown queen and have a great day